This is Chelsea from digitalartteacher.com. Now I'm going to copy my content onto the other page. I'm going to select everything, click and drag. Now I'll hold down Shift and Option or Alt, and my smart guides are going to snap it so that it's centered on this page. But now I have an issue. Now everything I have on here is on the text layer. So I'm going to move some things around so that I have my graphics on the graphics layer. Hold shift and click on all of the graphics, leaving the circular frame because it's grouped with some text. Command X to cut it, go to your layers, click on graphics, and then shift option command V or shift alt control V. Now I should have everything where I need it to be. I could leave my design like this, or if I wanted to, I could change a few things around to give it a little bit of variety. If I select everything and then come over here and click flip horizontal, then I've got my text nicely nestled in the middle of my page spread. And I've got graphics on the outside. This would serve to draw the eye across the page from image to image. However, now you see that I've got a problem. All my text is backwards. Well, we can fix this. All you have to do is deselect everything and then select the text layers and click flip horizontal again. Of course, you'll have to ungroup your image circle and text. Once finished, you can regroup again. Play around with your design, make any last minute edits that you feel are necessary, and then copy and paste your design on the rest of your pages. Select everything on both pages, Command C to copy, go to your next page, click on it to select that page spread, and then Shift Option Command V to paste in place. As you do this, you may notice that everything goes on the text layer. You could leave this if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and switch my graphics to my graphics layer. That way later, if I should need to select all of my text at once or all of my graphics at once, I can do that quickly and easily. I'm also going to move my oval on top of my rectangle frames. That way, when I enter my images later, my ovals will be in front of my pictures. So now it's your turn. Finalize your design and then copy and paste it on the rest of your pages. Once you've done this, I will see you in the next video.